Hello and welcome to Control. Um, I've already have played quite a bit of this. Not beaten it actually, but I've played quite a bit myself. Um, so at a certain point it will basically be pretty much blind for me, but it'll be a while before we get to that, so yeah. Also, before we get going, I just want to bring this up. <clears throat> See this uh, mute copyright music button? Every game should have this. I'm just saying. Every game should have a button like that. Anyway. Let's just start. This will cover it all your previous progress. Fine. I have to actually hold down the thing, right? So yes. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell. And the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. It's something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? To kill. Hello? Anyone here? Federal Bureau of Control. Also, I'm just gonna say now I'm not gonna read every little thing, so because there is a lot of reading 
so just basically in terms of time won't be yeah anyway um certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials unauthorized weapons pagers laptops smart watches smart phones smart gaming devices anything smart number two pencils most important thing any object considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept e.g. rubber ducks ketchup bottles all materials under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances if you see any lobby personnel in in breach of these policies please notify your supervisor immediately but yeah there's a lot of things to read so i will read the uh items and such so but uh expenditures major staffing surveillance blah blah blah, blah data center minor office equipment mold removal that'll come up later for cost breakdown spreadsheet see page five for you for live for five years okay oh there's a thingy here I've not made any dreams, so. Hold on. All right. Hold on. There we go. Collected nothing. years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight security office order that blah, blah blah a shark and his blah 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 all the hoob secure <laughs> permission to Basic protocol, shoot to kill. Good luck. That's nothing, okay. Hello, as you are, as you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request from R4 E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental 
departmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Miss Marshall, or Mrs. Marshall, whatever, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. Cool. us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. <sighs> okay. Okay. Here we go. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. We. What a nice fellow. Okay. Can't go that way. I can pick this up over here. Hi, Barbara. I am not 
be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Bump, bump. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Apparently. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> This is your ritual slash challenge. You must choose to be the chosen one. Look at this place. Where am I? We okay. Right. Melee, which I rarely ever use, so. Dang it. Bushk. You slash we wield the gun. The board. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's the dead man. 
right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy I'm happy to be here but I did Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Probably. Okay, we are... There. Alright. See if we can watch this again, so. ...or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. So, the object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows parallel alterations to blank. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of. The object will determine whether if rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the blank through their criteria is unknown, though their criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as director's office. The popular hypothesis blank, many forms throughout history. Blah, 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 Mjolnir, Excalibur, Farunastra. If objects of power are the convergence are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of this of that event. If this is the case, blank. See Dr. Darling presentation eleven point one for more details. Like I said, since I've right.
right. His guards. Any internal security personnel, the Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards use the standard issue bullpup rifles carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards can pump action shotguns, can carry them. They have no not they that they have no observed paranatural abilities, while the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by shielding of dense his resonance capable of stopping bullets is this shield a result of prolonged his corruption does the hiss mature in organic hosts over time more data is needed did the hiss target individuals with combat training does the hiss have that level of cogn that cognizance does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to combat trained hosts are reserved for combat these are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file blah 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 for full report. Go. All right. Rem Reminder if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Boop, boop. Also, it's totally fine that I destroy all these things.
cool. All right. Also, rebinding controls. Good thing. Only Marshall, we should we checked out suspected AWE in Duluth. Was anything just like the house fire before this and malfunctioning clothes dryer before that? My team's getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find be better. Oh, we need to find better a way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. We're on route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Loot boxes now. Dinner reservations. Like I said, I'm not going to read every little thing. So I just probably could find all the documents online anyway, so. Legends. So urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but all, can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetype. We recognize certain blank informed by our own blanks and popular, popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially blank. In popular culture, using Blink, our bureau-made anthology television program, once the seeds are sown, human imagination exa exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena, phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that only occur on Blink, a pair of scissors that consume human Blink through two punctures on the Blink. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are all there. The paranormal realities waiting to happen. Try to hold on. I'm going to check about controls again. All right.
Alright, our bird ride changed the uh Really? The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright. Whoa, okay. Crap, 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 crap. There we go. Fast travel, but we don't have anywhere to fast travel to, so. Please, talk to me. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone, not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. 
Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room should be around. He did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown, before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I blame for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau. She's a part of it. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay. Visitor evaluations. <coughs> Welcome to Federal Bureau of Bureau Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If you do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you here? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem blank, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of defiance, see the provided scoring sheet, then blank immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Yay. I already have a... And I have... Cool. Assets.
too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. That's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. That's not ominous. Welcome to the oldest house. The door to the cons department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it over by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jeffy. The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is an internal one. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but... I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. With you on that, Emily. You mentioned...
Just getting, you know, all this info and whatnot. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How did I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. Unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. And last one. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. His behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. All right. Again, a welcome message. Travel costs. The ocean view, by the way, is a thing that will be reoccurring as well. So, just gonna hold on.
it's, it's, it's just fun to do this. The bathroom. We have found a bathroom. All right. <laughs> ah, we found the other bathroom. We don't have a shatter weapon yet. We will though eventually. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, and not the God you know, or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream I showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator, and the coils from a toaster, and the fans, plus the timing bell from a, my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. This barrier be right back
and back. Sorry about the delay. So yeah, so experience peers, ways to impede escape or access. Bureau personnel, two methods have been discovered for lower for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources. Resonance fields seem to require support. <clears throat> yeah. Very dark. Alright, I'd like to thank you for approving my request for Dead Letters Archive, cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail, provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the Paranatural world. The letters came in, came to us from various places and times, gathered by the postal service as undeliverable. The bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine par paranatural events, but even the er erroneous ones allow us to insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile the compile a system to allow us to ana analyze the letters from for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and another altered any other altered materials. So thank you. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. Do as you're told. Don't eat mold. It's pretty good advice to live by. Not unless it's cheese. Cheese is a good multi. Damage boost I will take.
All right. Communications are on the right track. Communications depot. Friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. I love that you can just watch it like that too. All right. Dead presidents. <clears throat> to whom it may concern, I am being contacted by, contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of op opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower. I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours and Ernest, James Bartholomew. Recruiters, the Bureau, yeah, they have a whole book club. They meet, usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Wait, 
Um, Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna stop the stream real quick and then I'll start back up.